Okay, video number two. The second single bright large object is the globe. I have a piece of cardboard and when I tap it, it's, it sounds loud on the video. It's just a piece of cardboard. Um, make sure it can, we're talking about, it's called the Supernova Globe, 8 inch. I bought this at Walmart for $25. I discovered it because I bought a lava lamp to use the lava for this. It was this shape. This is called a 54 ounce lamp. So I bought a lamp like this with yellow wax from Walmart for 25. Amazon and other online, that's about the price of a modern day 54 inch. But we'll talk about that in the next video. There's a lot of information about this, but let's go back to this. Anyway, $25. I have it on a, mounted on a lava lamp stand and a lava lamp cap. <clears throat> to me it gives it more rotating sense of feeling than a ran because it's random at the top so I put this on it. And it does have a little motor that's I haven't seen the inside but I'm guessing some kind of little uh, prism or mirror arrangement with three LEDs on it green, red, and blue uh, rotating because you can hear the gears in there if you put your ear to it. Um, very happy with it. It looks a lot better to the eye than it does on the video because I need to tone it down. So if I do take one apart, I will paint the LEDs a little bit like I've done on some other stuff in here. I'll explain that in the next couple of videos. I have to use paint to tone down some stuff. Okay, I've got it in my hand. When I first got it, I was just going to set it over here on the were in front of where the lava lamp, the yellow lava lamp is now. The, um, I was going to put it over here in front of this before I had this. It's going to go right here. But the way it looks on the video, after a while, if you look at this for after a couple seconds, it starts to look like a special effect, like a computer generated uh, object on the video. Well, I, I didn't like this, this look right here, so I, I looked at different ways of. Something has to give it perspective, you know. Maybe holding it in a hand, something like that. Or, in my case, I finally came up with it. It's going to be behind uh, LED light on one side and, and front a little bit. Plus, the, I think this gives it a lot more non-special effect type of effect. Um, I really like the blue with a little green in it. It looks like the planet Earth. There we go. There's the oceans. And fortunately, it becomes Earth becomes Sun. Sun becomes Earth. Um, someday I hope to have maybe that color right there, just blue with a little green in it. I can think of it as a rotating planet. Uh, this is kind of like a little universe in here. I got these on to my sides. This one and this one over here. They're to my left and right. So these are in the peripheral vision. I got movement in the peripheral vision. Then I got the movement over here, and then the center got all this movement. Um, I need more movement over here. Anyway, uh, there's there's a blue lava lamp behind this red one. It's getting too hot. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so that's about it uh, for the supernova globe. If you've seen the first video, I talked about this board a little bit, and I said I recommended that you turn it on and write on it with a bright color. The reason is, it's very thrilling. It's just, it was a thrill. And it's almost worth the price of the board just to write on it. <laughs> Experience that writing in fire, or writing in a liquid neon light. So it must have been like an original neon artist. But um, real happy with that. For $25, I, I wish I could, uh, I'm going to get another one and open it up. I, I don't want to take a chance because I, I, I like it. So. I'm, Go we'll get another one to open the bottom and see if I can modify. If, I, if I'm successful, I'll, I'll put the, the modified one in the video. And I'm just trying for the blue and green. Uh, so I got greens here and greens here to match the green here. Okay, that should be it. Next video, I'll talk about the, the lava lamps.